It is an absolutely astoundingly gorgeous day in Mount Shasta. I am so jazzed. I rented a bike. I thought I was leaving last night, but I found out I had a cancellation for a gig and I get to stay another week. Super excited because everything's going great up here. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk about how you can take a three-month vacation. Seriously. Now, one time I did a talk about how to do six months off, and I had so many excuses from the audience. And you know what I realized? If you want to come up with excuses, you will, and then you won't do it. So just listen. Um, there are ways that you can't do it. Yes, if you're, you know, raising children or taking care of parents or doing something where you really can't go. But you know what? A lot of us really can go. And I'll tell you what I did. Um, before I sold everything and went on the road full time, I would take three to 10 month trips out of the country. My um, New Year's resolution was leave the USA by January 1st. And so I did that three times. And first started out with two and a half months, then the next one was six, and the next one was 10. And then after that, I didn't want to come home. So I did come home and sell everything. But you can make it so that you can do a three month and I'll tell you how to do it. Um, I at one point was renting out my apartment and what I made on the apartment I could live on in India. And uh, so, you know, if you don't want to leave your place, you can sublet it. And if you can't sublet it, then, you know, are you going to stay there because your couch is there? Is that going to be the excuse you don't go to Asia and the Himalayas and the Andes and Europe? And it's just like, really? <laughs> That's the reason you came up with because your furniture is there? Um, and a lot of people go, my pets and everything. And, you know, I, I, I decided um, not to have a pet because I wanted to travel. So unless you have somebody to take care of your pet... That is one of the things. Um, but you can take care of dogs as you go. You can do dog sitting and earn money and stay in beautiful places. So um, that's another thing that I have done. So how to do it is the trick is you go somewhere that isn't expensive. So I've done um, extensive long trips in South America, Central America and Asia. And you can afford to rent a house. My favorite place I think I ever rented was a house on the lake, Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. For $300, it had a huge deck that was covered overlooking the lake. And I taught yoga and photography there. And I made enough money to pay my expenses. So it, you can save up the money before. You just have to make your life be... Um, that's what you choose. You do give up other things, but what I gave up is uh, spending $300 on shoes, going to fancy restaurants all the time um, in Palo Alto, and and doing things that uh, cost a lot of money that now I go, well, that's a plane ticket to Europe. So it just, it depends on your value. If you really want to do it, you will. If you want to come up with a whole bunch of reasons why you can't, you won't do it. So you got to start where you are. And uh, most people in the first world, modern, Western culture can do this. Um, especially if you uh, don't own a house and you rent. Um I, you can do Uber, you can, there's so many options now for transportation. I used to always rent cars and that got pretty expensive. Plus I didn't have the peace of mind that I have when someone else is driving. So, and then in other countries you don't need a car. They've got their transportation and medical figured out a lot better than we do. Um, it's cheap and good in a lot of places. So just decide that you want to do it. And this is going to... Uh, make your life more valuable to have that time away from your regular thing. So I heartily recommend it. And um, sh comment below. Um, I'm going to do an issue on Mount Shasta in my uh, 
my magazine in the iTunes store, so you'll find out all about it. It's amazing! So, namaste. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.